in the pectoral region the first topic we are going to discuss about uh, the superficial fascia the superficial fascia of the pectoral region can be seen after the incision of the skin this also contains the moderate amount of fat not only that in this region the mammary gland is the most important structure in the females this superficial fascia gives off a fibrous bands called as suspensory ligaments these suspensory ligaments gives anchor to the lobes of the gland and which gives anchoring to the skin covering the mammary gland by this i want to say that the suspensory ligaments which are giving support to the mammary gland are mainly arising from the superficial fascia of the pectoral region which connects the fascia to the overlying skin and anchors the gland properly if you see the contents which are present in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region as i told you already it contains the moderate amount of fat not only that it also contains the cutaneous nerves these cutaneous nerves which are derived from the cervical plexus not only that they are also derived from the intercostal nerves along with the cutaneous nerves we can see the cutaneous vessels which are derived from the internal thoracic artery and also the posterior intercostal arteries so till now i told you that the contents are it contains the moderate amount of fat along with the moderate amount of fat it contains the cutaneous vessels cutaneous nerves not only that you can also see the muscle which is related to the neck region called as platysma because the fibers of the platysma mainly arise from the deep fascia which is called as the pectoral fascia and also can be considered as a important part of the superficial fascia of the pectoral region and in females i already told you that the mammary gland is the most important structure which is located upon this fascia so after knowing the contents of the superficial fascia of the pectoral region now let us discuss about uh, the contents of the superficial fascia one by one first i want to explain you about the cutaneous nerves of the pectoral region if you want to talk about the cutaneous nerves of the pectoral region i will divide the pectoral region into two parts one part i will divide let us consider that this is the second rib so this is the line i will demarcate up to the second rib so the cutaneous innervation up to the level of second rib from the clavicle and from the lateral border of the sternum towards the superficial aspect of the deltoid so you can see that here there is a superficial aspect of the deltoid and here upper boundary is the clavicle and the lower boundary is the imaginary line drawn at the level of the second rib and also you have the sternal line right that is the lateral border of the sternum so here this is called as the upper part of the pectoral region and this is the lower part of the pectoral region so the cutaneous distribution in the upper part of the pectoral region is mainly derived from the supraclavicular nerves and in the lower part of the pectoral region the cutaneous nerves are one is the anterior cutaneous nerves and the lateral cutaneous nerves other than the anterior as well as lateral cutaneous nerves you can also see another nerve which is derived from the t2 segment of the spinal cord called as the intercostal brachial cutaneous nerve of t2 okay that i will anyway i will discuss about one by one in detail so let us take the clavicle as a reference here i told you that there are three supraclavicular nerves so one is 
the medial supraclavicular nerve it is more medial second one is the intermediate supraclavicular nerve because the nerves arising above from above the clavicle and another one is the lateral supraclavicular nerve so these three supraclavicular nerves are originated from the cervical plexus cervical plexus means what are the cervical segments which are contributing in the formation of the supraclavicular nerves that is c3 and c4 because you know that in the brachial plexus we studied c5 c6 c7 c8 and t1 are contributing to the nerve supply of the upper limb so remember that the c5 to t1 does not take part in the cutaneous innervation of the pectoral region so above c5 that is c3 and c4 spinal segments are giving cutaneous innervation and when you talk about the below the t2 level you have the anterior cutaneous nerves and the lateral cutaneous nerves so by this we can say that the anterior and lateral cutaneous nerves are also not derived from c5 to t1 right so that's the reason i can say that the cutaneous nerves which are giving innervation to the area below the level of second rib below the level of second rib are innervated by the spinal segments are innervated by the nerves cutaneous nerves which are given off from the spinal segments t2 t3 t4 t5 and t6 so here i will write t2 t3 t4 t5 and t6 understood so by this you can say that c5 to t1 are not taking part in the cutaneous innervation of the pectoral region right yeah so now i told you that there are three important uh, supraclavicular nerves one is the medial one medial supraclavicular nerve one is the intermediate supraclavicular nerve and another one is the lateral supraclavicular nerves these nerves are derived from or we can say or the branches of cervical plexus that is c3 and c4 they supply the skin over the upper half of the deltoid you can see they supply the skin over the upper half of the deltoid and from the clavicle down to the second rib right it supplies the skin over the upper half of the deltoid and from the clavicle down to the second rib so these are the three cutaneous nerve that is the medial intermediate and the lateral supraclavicular nerves giving innervation to the superficial fascia or they are located in the superficial fascia of the upper part of the pectoral region now let us discuss about the cutaneous nerves which are seen below the level of second rib i told you that there are two nerves uh, means two nerve plexus one is uh, the anterior cutaneous nerves and another one is the lateral cutaneous nerves or we can say the anterior as well as the lateral cutaneous branches arising from t2 to t6 but if you talk about uh, anterior cutaneous nerves anterior cutaneous nerves i will draw here these are the anterior cutaneous nerves are derived from t2 t3 t4 t5 and t6 but if you talk about the lateral cutaneous nerves they are from t3 to t6 they are not from t2 to t6 because i told you that the t2 in the lateral part is giving intercostal brachial cutaneous nerve that is the reason we are calling it as intercostal brachial cutaneous nerve of t2 so here the lateral cutaneous nerves are four in number here you can see the lateral cutaneous nerves are four in number and they are contributed from the segments t3 t4 t5 and t6 so where is t2 here so here is the t2 which is related to the floor of the axilla right so t2 is uh, forming the intercostal brachial cutaneous nerve which gives innervation to the skin of the floor of the axilla and also on the upper part of the medial side of the arm 
it gives innervation to the skin of the upper part of the medial side of the arm this is the upper part of the medial side of the arm and also it gives innervation to the floor of the axilla so totally in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region how many cutaneous nerves we have if you divide into three groups one is the supraclavicular group they are three in number medial intermediate lateral they are derived from c3 and c4 right remember one important point here c5 to t1 are not taking part in the cutaneous nerve supply in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region because they are contributed towards the formation of brachial plexus c5 to t1 are the brachial plexus now if you talk about uh, the cutaneous innervation below the level of uh, second rib they are innervated by two important groups one is the anterior group other one is the lateral group right so here the anterior cutaneous branches are derived from t2 t3 t4 t5 and t6 and if you talk about the lateral they are from t3 to t6 because the t2 here is forming the intercostal brachial cutaneous nerve which gives innervation to the skin over the floor of axilla and also the upper part of the medial side of the arm